All right, folks, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a controversial issue that affects games, gamers, game developers, and pirates all alike. Today, I'm going to be talking about a little concept called emulation. Now, a few people have asked me, you know, what's your views on emulation and what do you think of it? Well, uh, there's a lot of legal and judicial uh, issues surrounding emulation. And I don't really want to get into that because I'll probably do a video on how to set up emulators and basically what they're about at a later stage. However, um, today with a lot of things that cloud emulation, I just want to say that emulation itself is legal. You can use an emulator to play games. However, going out of your way to download somebody else's copy, like somebody else's copy of a game in a ROM format, online off a torrent site or off a public upload site like mega upload is just uh illegal plain and simple but anyway basically i wanted to talk about old games specifically playstation 1 games as you can see here i have crash bandicoot 2 i'm gonna do a little video on how to back up your old games that are cd rom or dvd rom based so that'd be like playstation 1 playstation 2 stuff like that Basically, I wanted to bring this video to you because, as we had been told in the past when CDs came out, you know, CDs are indestructible, they'll never break, you know, if you spill stuff on them, they'll be fine. As we know, this is not the case. They haven't specifically stood the test of time, and the more you play a game, the more likely it is to get scratched, and the more likely it is to not work after playing it to death. However, I'm lucky enough that my Crash Bandicoot 2 is still in good condition and I'm going to explain how to back it up and turn it into essentially a disc image on the program PowerSO so that we'll be able to play it. Now, for some platforms already, uh, the idea of backing up your games is kind of obsolete and even as far as going to the likes of the poor old Game Boy Color here, um... The actual Game Boy Color games don't save anymore, so this is kind of one of the reasons why people would use emulators, because you can't save your progress. The hardware that's built into the chips obviously has become too old now. And before the PlayStation 1 becomes obsolete, it's always good to, like I said, back up your games, and if you have the disc image, you can always use this in an emulator, which is legal. If you're using it for your own private home use and backing up your own games, this is totally legal. And I'm just going to crack into it and show you how to do this. Alright folks, so the best way I found that you can do this is by going into your This PC option, or My Computer. And go to where your disk drive is and press the right click. Go down to the PowerISO option and press the Make Image File. Now this will open up PowerISO. Uh, obviously I'm just using the trial version, so I'm going to click Continue Unregistered. Right, and then when the window pops up, you want to put it to a .bin file. Reason being, if you try and make an ISO file of PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 games, a lot of the time on Power ISO, it comes up that it's encrypted and it doesn't particularly work right. So I'm just going to save my bin file here. Content creation, backed up games, and just type in Crash Bandicoot 2. There we go, that'll be that saved and let that do its work now this will take a wee bit of time however i'll just skip forward until it's done Okay, now that that's done, you want to go back and you can see here you have a bin and a queue file in the folder where you want to back up your game. And we're going to go into the emulator now, the EPSXE. For purposes of the video, I'm just going to say I managed to obtain the BIOS from my old fat PlayStation. Uh, I'm in the PAL region, uh, which is obviously the UK. And I'm going to be able to play my PAL Crash Bandicoot 2. So I've just clicked into the bin file and we've got a black screen here. And we should hear the music right about now in a minute here. And that is the music that everyone's been waiting for.
what a nostalgia trip. But basically, I'm just gonna wait until we uh, get into the main menu and click in for you here. This uh, particular PS1 emulator supports obviously keypad support and controllers, as well as obviously the default layout of the emulator using your keyboard. Now, play Crash Bandicoot with a keyboard is very, very, very fucked up to say the least. But uh, hence why my gameplay is going to be a bit off here. And uh, yeah, guys, um, I can't, you know, speak enough about this support the developers you know buy the games you know i could understand maybe someone that's looking to play a game that maybe was never released in the region or you know it was very very rare and hard to get a hold of obviously with me with crash bandicoot 2 i had it years ago i still have it now and uh obviously a lot of my ps1 games that mightn't be in the best nick I'm going to go about backing them up and, you know, maybe play this on the emulator when I have time. But emulation is good for them particular things. Obviously, uh, the way things are looking with this game, you can tweak the graphics options further because obviously I'm rendered out in 1080p and the emulator's playing it on a 1080p screen. And obviously Crash Bandicoot wasn't made for HD, so, you know, you're going to have to do bits and... Uh, pieces to tweak it you can run the emulator in windowed mode and all that good stuff or in a smaller window so that it looks better there's going to be a bit of pixelation anyway from my obs capture but yeah that is going to round up my video basically on the backing up of your games your playstation 1 or any kind of game that comes from optical media that can be still be put into disc drives today this purpose obviously still will apply to the likes of newer games as well if you have drives that support the type of discs so yeah guys that's going to round up my video on how to back up your games and your ps1 games until next time my friends goodbye